Welcome, it's a great day to be a miner. In today's video, we have an exciting new piece of hardware. We have the EVGA RTX 3080 Ti for the Win 3 edition graphics card. We're gonna unbox it, we're gonna go over the specs, and then we're gonna strap it into our test bench. We're gonna test this thing on some of the most popular mining algorithms. But without further ado, let's spin that intro. Pew! All right, here we go. Time to unbox this beautiful new graphics card. RGB knife, engage. Let's see what's in the box. You probably already know what's in the box from the thumbnail, but let's pretend you have no idea what's in this box. Get out of here, box. The EVGA RTX 3080 Ti for the Win 3. This is a beast of a card. We're gonna get this thing opened. We're gonna unbox it. We're gonna put it here in our test bench. We're gonna put it through the rounds on all the different mining algorithms. We're gonna share you our overclocks and our nerdy numbers. <laughs> All right, it's time. Let's go ahead and open up this beast and see what's inside of the box. What's in the box? All right, EVGA RTX 3080 Ti. Ah, that satisfying first cut. All right, let's see if we can open this up nice and pretty like. All right. All right, here it is. Here it is in all its glory. All right, let's open it up and let's see what's in the box. Nicely packaged as always from EVGA. Nice little foam insert. Set that aside. Let's see what's in the additional slot. And that would be an anti-sag bracket to hold up the weight because this really super heavy cooler. So that would just prop up the end of the graphics card. And let's see what's the little insert itself. This would be your hardware installation guide. But who needs that? Anything else? Ooh, almost forgot the beautiful important case badge. These things retail for $149.99. Minus the one. Actually, these things cost five bucks on the EVGA website. All right, it's time to unearth the beast. She's heavy, she's a thick girl. And I know it's brand new this time because the seal is still intact. Unlike my Hellhound 6700 XT, yeah. All right, let's try to peel it nice and gentle as not to leave any residue. Nice, all right. Let's take a look at Mr. Beefy here. All right, so let's first, there's our back plate. A nice solid metal back plate with plenty of honeycomb venting. And then of course it has the blow through design right here. The PCB ends down in here and this blows straight through. And then let's look at our end. There we have three display ports and one HDMI 2.1 port. And then of course our PCIe X16 um, Gen 4 slot. And then this giant cooler, Whew, that is nice. Let's go ahead and do the peel. Let's see if we can get it in one piece. Peel, can we get it in one piece? Let's cheat and get it started really well. Just gonna try to rip right there, let's see. Ah, ah, ah. 
Ah, uh, keep going. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was so. Hold on. I gotta go take a break after that. I'll be back. All right, we're back. We got our card. We've got the satisfying peel. We've pulled off our nice plastic. Man, that thing is heavy. Let's get a weight on this thing and just see how much it comes in at. And there it is. Three pounds, seven and a half ounces. That is a hefty graphics card. That's one of the heaviest in my collection personally. And note the three eight pin power up here. This thing uses a lot of juice. All right, let's quickly touch on the specs. This thing features 10,240 CUDA cores. It has an 1800 megahertz boost clock. The size dimensions are 5.4 inches by 11.8. It is a 2.75 slot width, which is pretty much means it's a three slot card. It requires a 750 watt power supply and has a TDP of 300 and 50 watts and of course as I mentioned it uses the 3 by 8 pin power now none of those actual power requirements mean as much to us as a miner but you need to know that if you are using this in a gaming system and mining on the side take note of your power requirements especially the 3 8 pin power now let's quickly recap some of the features of this card. It features the really beefy thick cooler right here with the three oversized fans for great cooling and it also uses in conjunction EVGA's ICX3 technology which incorporates numerous sensors under here to control the fan spin and when it should spin and how fast it should spin. All right, we're fully installed. Let's fire this thing up. As you can see, I had to do some modifications to the test bench. I had to move the rad sideways and out to accommodate the additional length of this card. And then, of course, it's using the three eight pin connectors right here. And we've got it slotted into our motherboard. Let's power this thing up and see the beautiful RGB glow. There's one power and number two. A rainbow of beauty. Thanks for checking out our review and our unboxing video. We decided that we're gonna go ahead and split this into two videos. The next video will be the full testing with all the algorithms and the profitability. Did you pick up one of these cards or the 3070 Ti? Are you mining it? How much are you making with it? Make sure to comment down in the comments. Thanks for checking it out. Let's go to our outro and then some beautiful B-roll. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it. The Ethereum nerfed RTX 3080 Ti EVGA for the win three graphics card. Not exactly an Ethereum or an efficiency king, but still a very profitable mining card. Yeah, you really showed us, didn't you, NVIDIA? If you're new to mining or you need some help, make sure to join the Misfit Mining Discord. There's always plenty of seasoned veterans in there willing to help you out. If you like this video, you know what to do. Smash that like button and subscribe for future content. Thanks for coming along and enjoy the ride. Pew!